This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, and how are you doing? Going over the text out here. Welcome to another exciting episode of Hibachi Talk. I got my good old buddy, Andrew, the security guy. So, brother, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. How long has it been? It's been. Did I miss a lot? Uh, Did I miss a few? I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm here now. But it's been a while. You know, Billy didn't. He really didn't in the house. house. Look at that. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh, your red shirt is very nice. So anyway, oh, um, um, it's glowing. great to have you here. Thank you. Uh, great to be uh, here. We don't have a guest today because we're going to... Um, Did you tell him I'd be here? Is that what happened? That was it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you fill the whole thing. Uh, you fill the whole thing. Sorry. So we're going to do a cryptocurrency update, kind of blockchain update. Yeah, which is blowing up. Which is going to Every crazy. industry. So please grab yourself a chair, grab yourself a libation, sit down and join us for another exciting episode of... We didn't get anything. Man, I mean, we we short shoot well, ourselves right here. Right Bitcoin off the tank bat. in the past week, so maybe that's <laughs> Bitcoin that. tank. I still owe you at twelve bucks. I think I still have money left. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I don't think it tank tanked. Tank. I think it was like it, it, about thirty percent. It, it had its it had its moments, it had to its say the least. So, um, cryptocurrencies and blockchain, lots of discussion. I've been in meetings all week um, discussing blockchain. Um, not so much the cryptocurrency side, but the blockchain side and and how it's going to be changing industries like healthcare. Hospital insurance. Identity for us. Identity for you guys. Yeah, anything transaction based. Yeah, anything transaction based. So you got, you know, when, when people start thinking, this is really, this is, remember Netscape? Wait, do you remember Netscape? Are you that young? I remember Okay, Netscape. you remember I didn't, I, I didn't know if I wanted to admit it or not. <laughs> you got paused for a second. Anyway, so and I don't when, it when Netscape first came out, I remember sitting with a bunch of people and companies that I was doing consulting work for and said, this is going to be the next new wave of, uh, of how you do business. The internet is going to change the oh, way yeah. you do business. And I can tell you right now, between 80 to 90 percent, 80 to 100 percent said, nah. Ah, Gordo's crazy. Nah. He don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why would about? they use the internet to why, do business? Yeah, why would I use the internet to do business? <laughs> and so here we are. So, so look at 19, you know, 97 versus where we are today. Yeah, then and then I say it was Yahoo. Like when everybody's they're starting to say, oh wow, you know, actually this about, is going to be something. LOL, you got mail. This is going to be something. You got mail, and then next thing you know, you've got Amazon who was trying to sell books and then turned into a. A massive retailer. Yep. And um, uh, guess massive, what? like massive, like every, massive everything. Massive everything. So, uh, move on for bankruptcy uh, just the other day there. Who? Tarasaurus. Toys R Us. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Toys yeah, R Us. This, it's, a, it's a shame for the brick and mortars. I mean, yeah, so they, you know, yeah, and because it, 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 yeah, they have a $5 billion with a B long term debt they've got to take care of. And they just filed for Chapter 11. I'm not, I don't know this stuff, but I'm looking like... You think they ought to start selling their stuff on Amazon, maybe? <laughs> maybe. I mean, so, 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 so Amazon is done and all. everything is happening. So I remember in the mid-90s trying to, you know, everybody was trying to sell products. Yep. And we actually did some service sale. With this, we didn't do the sale over the internet, but, but people found us on the internet, people from the mainland actually, okay. and contracted services from us. So from I actually sold some services in 1998. Via the internet. Via the internet. So you were right. Something. You were a pioneer. I was lucky. Were that the guys out of New I York? I yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I remember this. Yeah. yeah, you remember that? I remember that. I mean, so, amazingly. So right. that was you, know, a you pick up a client in Hawaii. Yeah, I'm here because we knew what they needed to do. And, and he, yeah, I talked to other kind of people. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. I was like, dude, this is. So look at what we do now. I mean, we apply for jobs. You know, people apply for jobs online. Who who um, goes down and Everything. stands in line somewhere? I mean, it's online. You fill out a PDF, pre PDF form. You do everything. We check your ID, we look at your Facebook accounts, your LinkedIn accounts, your Instagram accounts. Is that still legal? <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> certainly do. Hey. I was kicking off my top, remember last week, I, I was, I did this little bit at the start, I think I might have heard it somewhere, but I, I told everybody, I said, like, you remember back in those days, you know, 20 years ago, you know, the when the, when Yahoo was ruling, and the thing was, you don't want to actually, don't, you know, you want to trust people on the internet, yeah, right? right? And then also, like, and we used to tell everybody, you know, you don't ever get in a car with anybody, right? But what do we do today? Today, you use the internet to call a stranger right. to bring their car so, so let's you can get in let's it and get, get it let's that way. So <laughs> your mom and dad told you don't get into a car with a stranger, right? Yeah. Now we pick up our mobile phone 
to call someone from Uber or Lyft yeah. to get in a car with a stranger. Yeah, in their car. Like it's in their car. So that's it. But in my point was that security really didn't. Yeah. You know, we do that, but there's no, there's no more secure than it was then. Right. So that was kind of what. But I here's where, and this is the part where blockchain could come into play. We we talked about this identity. Oh, so yeah. knowing we yeah. you, so my you know the Better Business Bureau, we've heard about the BBB. Mm -hmm. So here's one of my kind of like visions of the future is that if you are a blockchain authenticated Uber driver or a blockchain authenticated Uber passenger yeah. or Lyft or whoever, when I go and sign on with my authenticated blockchain ID, mm -hmm. then when I when I get picked up, I know I'm getting picked up by the right person. Yeah, who I can trust. The transaction, and then the transaction is vetted, and then also, yeah, then the and then also they know that I'm someone who's. And really, when you, it's really when you give the referral, so it's not like fake news. Yeah. You know, when you give the five star, yeah. a million people agree that Gordo gave that guy this review. And that would be that would be where the BAT token comes into play. So there's a new cryptocurrency. A BAT token. Yeah, bat, a bat, to bat, to bat token that's out there. <laughs> it's a new one that will authenticate and verify that what's being said in advertising is true. Okay. So I mean, so wow, I like so it. They're using like the blockchain for that. I like it already too. So there's all of this stuff happening and so on. So let's talk about some of the stuff that's gone on this past couple of weeks. Some okay. of which has really peed me off, but I'm just gonna sit here and I shouldn't. And, I shouldn't and you're complain. Gonna be a rant? No. Well, it, this whole I'm, I'm show's a rant. rant. <laughs> <laughs> this is all of it. So anyway, I like it. To, um, uh, so um, JP da JP Morgan, JP Damon. Sorry, JP. I know him. Uh, JP Morgan, their CEO Jamie Dimon, yeah, um, calls saw Bitcoin that. a fraud. I saw that. So you saw that. So he calls it a fraud. And so Bitcoin at that point in time was hovering around forty six hundred bucks. Okay. Actually, uh, push, Bitcoin, sure. pushing. To five thousand. Yeah. Within, On the way up. When the course in the course of after him stating that that the cryptocurrency values tanked, like tanked. They went from like forty nine, forty eight to to twenty eight. Is that from people cashing them in though, Tur converting them to cash? Could be because they, he said it was a fraud. Yeah. Now, but what got really interesting is that um, um, a European news outlet who track cryptocurrency investments, made this huge euro purchase, three million euro purchase of Bitcoin. Bitcoin. By now, let, Probably by that guy. Wait, 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 let me back up. Now, <laughs> JP Morgan CEO said that he would fire his people for being so stupid if they traded in Bitcoin. If they traded and bought right, Bitcoin. It was, what was the word? Not traded, it was advised or, or bought or, or, or what do they do? What do they speculate? Spe what do they, yeah, whatever, because they were stupid. Whatever they do on so, Wall Street. So, and again, I'm just picking up what's on the news. So within... Within a very short period of time, three million euros, which is about three point six million U.S. dollars, okay, in Bitcoin was purchased. Guess who bought them? Take a wild guess. The guy, J.P. Morgan. The firm or the guy? The firm. So, well, you think he fired whoever bought them? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, or do you think he just wanted to drive the market so, down so he could so, buy so, in? Because it's a non-regulated industry, that's what I tell everybody. It's like, if you want to get into this, it's not for the faint of heart. If you want to get into this industry, just like when you in the internet, I'll talk about my first internet stock that I lost everything on. Not everything, a bunch of money on. But um, this is not for the faint of heart. Sure. So we'll go back to my first internet stock. So when um, internet first started, Netscape and so on, um, Disney started a, um, a separate stock offering for internet product and services, oh. right? For the Disney line. For the of Disney line, right? right. Well, that, and it, was, it was new then. We didn't even know what it was. I jumped in like crazy. I bought my grandkids stock in it and everything. Oh, what, eight years later. Can't it go wrong. It's it, Disney. It, it, Disney. I can't go wrong. It's Disney. Well, guess what? It tanked. Gone. The they whole did, thing well, disappeared. Didn't, didn't my stock certificates are gone. It isn't worth a freaking dime. But, <laughs> but so don't, that's why I say, don't listen to me. You know, I'm, I'm still doing this show for free. Do your own homework. Do your own, Do your own homework. But so this, this, this guy, J.P. Morgan, from J.P. Morgan, turns around and does this. It tanks, and then um, they buy it. For, yeah, but well, I mean, but who did, I mean, really, did, what was the deal? That's it. You don't know. Well, I mean, that's ugly. I know. You don't Wait, know. I mean, you're leaving us hanging here. So the next report, we're going to... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to track it. You know, we have, it's Bitcoin. We have to know who bought it. Who bought it? Well, it's either him personally or a guy that he, a girl he fired because he said <laughs> they were stupid. 
Yeah, so I'm saying before or after, right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Because well, you wonder when the purchase was. According to the news that I've read, I mean, guess this news that I picked up, according to the news I've read, it was after he had announced that it was a fraud. Yeah, and so, but it makes you, because sometimes it takes a while to, for the transaction to record. Yeah, but realizing in, in cryptocurrency world, man, I tell you, this is not banking, man. Well, ours went really quick when we did our transaction, but yeah. I mean, would one that same size oh, yeah. be just as quick? Yeah. Okay, so the mine, because the miners want to get paid to, to record the transaction. Exactly. So, and yeah, okay. speaking of miners, you just move into our next thing. So, See? So the other thing that makes this vault is a natural segue. You are, it's almost as if we rehearsed this. this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't rehearse anything. Um, so China, China's on a Bitcoin crackdown, right? So, so but, but I heard India might make it the first national currency. Yeah. So and China's on a crackdown. Yeah, China's on a crackdown. We can you know, realize it's a communist country. So they, you know, they're battling things out and so on. And I'm going to talk about Google in a minute. But, but China, China um, has, decided, has issued and said that no ICO, so initial coin offerings, like a will emanate. From China, cannot. Do they have like a stock market? They have like a stock market, I guess. Whatever it is, it's called the, the imperial not, market. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, the, the, the imperial market. Anyway, so they said no ICOs. Now there's uh, two significant uh, Bitcoin exchanges in China. One is called, and I'm glad to make sure I get them right. Um, they are. Uh, oh gosh, it's called. I'm sorry for not knowing off, off the top of my head. Um, that's it right there. Oh, OK Coin and, and, and then Huobi. Yeah. Oh, OK Coin and Huobi. I didn't put that down there, but OK Coin, <laughs> OK Coin and okay, Huobi. OK, okay coin. coin. So OK Coin was a very popular exchange. OK. And Huobi, 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 whoever you pronounce it, I don't know that much about, but I know about OK Coin. But they have, um, uh, China has said as of the end of October, those two exchanges, all exchanges, but these are the two largest ones in China must shut down. So, so now there's three pieces to this puzzle. Is, is that because people are moving wealth out of China? Is because that China's to banking system is concerned about what it will do to um, uh, corrupt, or not corrupt, but destabilize. But destabilize, yes, thank you. Destabilize so their banking system. Is it one? Yeah, 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 you won. You won or won? Won. How many other? <laughs> Again, have you watched this show? Take it for what it's worth. We don't know. <laughs> Watch your wand. You're hilarious. You wand, I wand, we all wand. You should hang out I with think us. Think wand is Korean. I thought wand was from Mexico. <laughs> that's a different one. Hey, that, that's Papi Chulo. Who goes this yeah, that's wand. Okay. So anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> this is a bizarre. Um, anyway, so they, uh, no ICOs. You got to shut down the um, exchanges. Um, okay. But, but guess so what? Cash out, basically. So, yeah. So you got everybody's got to cash out. And um, but guess what's the, what's up in limbo? The number one mining country for Bitcoin in the world is North Korea, China. Oh, I thought it was North Korea. Yeah. China's electric bill, as I read in the in the journals and everything, their electric bill per day to mine Bitcoin is thirty six thousand dollars. Come on. Electric bill because they're the number one miner of Bitcoin. Now, there's no indication whatsoever that they're going to shut down mining Mine. because it's government control. Well, and it, I mean, it's kind of smart. That's that's sort of the money piece of it. If if it's going to go berserk and there's going to say there's a billion transactions a day and then there's going to be 50 billion a day, then there's money to be made yeah, in every transaction. There's money to be made. So in maybe it. that's a smart move. And that's the smart move. So they and then they can they can play within that within the government space on what they're doing within the crypto. And they also, can, if they do enough of it, they control the distributed ledger. Well, that's the beauty of I it. I mean, they cannot. They could control a bunch of it. They could. They, they, well, they could control a portion of the distributed ledger. But again, the the beauty of the distributed ledger is it authenticates all transactions. And if someone tries to do it, well, but if what if there's 80 million transactions in in China and 20 million around the rest of the world? It doesn't matter. It, 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 the other 20 million have to agree. Yeah, gotta agree. There's no, no manipulating the ledger. There's right? no way you can mess around with the ledger. Right that's the that. beauty of it. Yeah. They, you know, and I love the transparency. I mean, I think the transparency piece is good. The prices, the price per transaction cannot be beaten. That's I mean, this true. is this is the value it brings to transactions. Okay, so we got to take a break. I mean, we I, I was hoping we'd have enough to talk about on this stuff, but I guess obviously oh, not. Oh, I think yeah. every show should be on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and blockchain. Anyway, go to the text our end of the security guy. We'll be back in a minute and we'll pick up where we left off. And I think we got Angus with a gadget. Nice. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? And they told me they were making music.
that I could play, so any chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, I saw it. Doug Rawlson here, folks, your host on Where the Drone Leads, our weekly show at noon on Thursdays here on Think Deck, where we talk about drones, anything you to do about drones, drones, remotely piloted aircraft, unmanned air crystals, whatever you want to call them, emerging into Hawaii's economy, educational framework, and our public life. We talk about things associated with the use, the misuse, uh, technology, engineering, legislation, with the local experts as well as people from across the country. Please join us noon on Thursdays and catch the latest on what's taking place in the world of drones that might affect you. Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to HIT. Think Tech Hawaii, this is Hibachi Talk and we got Angus in here off the beach and I think he's still shading his eyes. Angus, what's up buddy? <laughs> Good to see yeah, you. Wait, 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 what are you into there? Yeah, 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 cool. I, is that your normal beat? Yeah, 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 you know, it's like I'm in the 3D world right yeah, now. You know, I like, like it. Oh, I love you, it, brother. I can't see you, but I can see, oh, oh, elevated, oh, I'm up in the sky, oh. It's terrific. I remember when you were just in the Google Glass, man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. no, I'm in the 3D. I like it. I got 3D right here. Oh, kiss. Oh, 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 that's that's why you're it's awesome. It's awesome. It's like going to the beach and not even going. Yeah, the drummer sometimes they got a wee bit seasick on it, but it's pretty good. It's like, oh, oh wait, ooh, elevator. Ah, oh, perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> Anyway, these are really cool things. You know, don't get the expensive ones like I get. You can go get the ones from uh, Google for like 99 cents. Okay. And Amazon for Prime for free 99 shipping. Okay. So perfect. Right you know, but everybody ought to check VR's these things. VR is good, huh? VR is pretty damn good. You know, you almost look real. <laughs> um, are you watching him? Oh, 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 exciting. Anyway, 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 check these gadgets out. They're pretty awesome. I love my uh, Google Glass, but you know, the VR is excellent. Right on. And like I say, every time, let your wind getting free, where are you be? Aloha. Woo! <laughs> we, lose, we just lose Angus, man. Back to the ego. He's gone berserk in VR. If you run into him out there in the virtual reality, send him home. <laughs> God. Anyway, I was Angus. <laughs> it's uh, virtual reality glasses. Well, speaking of virtual reality, let's come back to cryptocurrencies and Which blockchain. Which maybe virtual reality. It could, it's be, virtual currency. could be virtual reality. So you know, some some things. So we were talking about earlier about China and what they've done. So, yeah. so a couple of things. That, a couple of things that have come out in the um, in the news and the uh, in the articles that I've been reading is that you know they said that with. Um, uh, China getting out of the, uh, uh, sort of out of the business for now, and no one knows what they're going to do. There's a lot of transactions happen. So there's, you know, and, and in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, um, their value is based on transactions to keep up with supply and demand, supply and demand. Okay. So there may be a huge drop in the number of transactions that happen as a result of China getting everybody out. No one, no one within their country, no one really knows, but it's going to be interesting to see. But what's kind of interesting is that others, other countries are being looked at as possible they'll just pick up the slack, like Japan. 300,000 retailers by the end of the year will be taking Bitcoin in Japan. So, ah. you know, so again, so they're a very open society. Um, they, like shop. they think, they think uh, North Korea, which is interesting, North Korea and Russia will pick up, um, will do some heavy um, pushing in the mining side, which might make it more uh, challenging for China. So, and I but, wonder if they're investing, right? It's an interesting way for them to accumulate wealth when we're putting embargoes on them and we're, tra we're doing trying to do trade restrictions and so they can they can accumulate virtual wealth and then cash it out maybe somewhere or buy, buy weapons or whatever it is they need to buy. You yeah, know, weapons or something. Yeah. But, but, but you think about, so this is, you're bringing up an, an excellent point. It's like you're sitting on this, this um, currency and China said it, they said they're concerned that will destabilize their banking system. Mm -hmm. Uh, duh, it's going to destabilize all banking well, systems. The global, the global bank. The yeah. global banking system. I mean, I've been meeting with banks for the past couple of weeks talking about, you know, what, where this might come into play. The mm -hmm. block, not Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever, the but yeah. the blockchain itself, or it may come into play. I've been talking with insurance companies about where, where this is going to, healthcare providers, where this will come into play. I mean, we don't know. I mean, we just don't know at this point in time. But when IBM puts a billion dollars into it, with their 3M, 3M Microsoft, HP, oh yeah, HP. All, the, all the big boys. You start are, going down the list. You start. You things. start looking. You go like, okay, I just go back and I look at Netscape and I look what happened there, and then where we are today with the with the guy, the the, the uh, disruptors. Sure. And this is a disruptor. 
Um, uh, big time. Big time. Um, and we, we have evidence that central repositories are a bad idea from a, a security perspective. I go back We've and... got to get rid of those and I, distribute them. I go back and I say, and I don't know for sure, but my, my standard comment is that i got to believe that Bernie Madoff never would have gotten away with what he did if he was required to use blockchain technology because it was go. a Ponzi scheme. Sure, because and, it, it would have been apparent yeah, what he was yeah, doing. He did not have the money to buy the next transaction, right? There you right? Go. That's what it says. It's like, I can't, I can't give you a thousand Bitcoin and, and uh, Ray a thousand Bitcoin because the transaction has to be authenticated and yep. verified and it's done in seconds. Yep. Or, like and, and so that, that, that's what happens. So all of that, that piece is going on. Now, um, the Wall Street Journal, that is going to go away. It's not, it's, What's it's, going to go away? Blockchain? Block, uh, Bitcoin will go. The cryptocurrencies will go away. Nah, that's that's what they're went away, but I, I don't think so. I, yeah. think, I think it's already too embedded, too enmeshed in, in too many things. But, I mean, why, would, why would it go away? So, here, so here's a, here's a no, and this is and this Why be, do they say that? I mean, this becomes the balancing act, right? So do I want to go tomorrow and buy a Starbucks, which I can, with a Bitcoin? Or it's a portion of a Bitcoin, right? I could, but that portion of a Bitcoin could turn into a twenty thousand dollar coffee if the price of Bitcoin goes up. Sure. So, but that could happen with your dollar bill. Well, the dollar bill is because it's fiat. That ain't, you know, when's the U.S. currency going to go up six hundred percent? Well, I mean, the value of the dollar. Yeah, the value, it ain't going to happen. I mean, this is where these. Well, I mean, if you, I guess if you're buying a cup of coffee, you're buying a bar of gold, or buying some stock. Right. Yeah, but you're, you're buying bar of gold. The that, dollars right, are still speculative. Dollars, dollars are dollars. So, but I'm thinking, so people, if people start holding this for the long term, then there's no transactions happening. Mm -hmm. So then when there's no transactions, then it causes it to start to... The value. The value just starts to go, starts to go down. And then you get the traders coming in who are playing it back and forth. So it's, a, it's just a fascinating industry to watch. And there's so many different point, touch points mm -hmm. in it that make it even more fascinating. So, and like I keep saying to everybody, I'm not giving anyone advice on what you should do with your money. It's your money and you decide what to do. And this yeah, is not for the faint of heart. blockchain's here to stay. Yeah, blo I think the blockchain technology is the equivalent of when yeah. the internet, AKA, NAT, Netscape, AOL, first got into it and then it has evolved over and, the and, decade. And you have to think that if blockchain, if blockchain's gonna begin to anchor transactions, then that, I, I, I personally, I just believe that validates cryptocurrency. Yeah, and you know so I mean, so I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't be useful. And what, what form they'll have a decade from now, I mean, the form may be a bit different. But uh, you know, as far as like the, the, the way it's regulated, like you're talking about, sort of self-regulated right it's now. Self-regulated, you know, right? Transaction based drives value, blah, blah blah, things like that. But my read on blockchain is every every heavy hitter that knows anything about anything and has available funding is figuring out ways to back up transactional relationships with blockchain. Whether it be ID. It's sort of getting rid of the database. Yeah, it this, is. This, the single the database. The central we're database a, and, and database. mining your database and all of this. We know you're going to you're going to mine the blockchain. Yeah. And, the yeah. world did go back. I mean, you remember when you remember the AS4, you remember the, the green screens, right? We had we had that day of of a uh, of a uh, I remember uh, the mainframe with like with the uh, consoles. Yep, I did. And those. then everything went to the PC. And now there's, you know, with virtualization and all that stuff, there's kind of a, been a pushback. So we could see this do that. And so now form, I can stand up a server. And I can stand up a server in a matter of seconds. And I'm gonna, yep. we're gonna do a show in, a, in the near future on um, this um, um, uh, application layer called Blue Blue Mix. Nice. I'm not gonna tell you who it's from, but um, it's a awesome, 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 for awesome product. I need that. Um, and I'm just getting myself into it, so I'm, you know, I'm not, I can't talk in any degree of intelligence on it. Like I cannot talk to a lot of degree of intelligence on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I can just tell you what I read and what I follow mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. So a couple so of other things. You're a blockchain junkie now. I, I am a blockchain officially. junkie. Yeah, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, <laughs> you were a Bitcoin junkie, but yeah, now Bitcoin, you're a blockchain, yeah, blockchain. So Bitcoin accepted by Google Payment API now. So awesome. Google Payment has an API. Um, my um, uh, QuickBooks now has an API in it, so my clients can pay me with Bitcoin. Are you accepting Bitcoin? I am accepting Bitcoin. Um, how many have I received? Eh, none, but that's okay. Oh. Um, well, here, I mean, the I'll give a discount. There's still no exchange in Hawaii, though. There is no Bitcoin exchange in Hawaii, right. but, well. But you can just go offshore. I, yeah, I can go to Kraken or... Okay. Um, so that's what you have see, to do. There's a number of them I can go to. you want to pay Gordo for his services, Coin, I'll, give you, I'll give you a discount. 
Yeah, there you go. So I give you There's a discount. value there. So, but it looks good on the bill when the invoice comes in. It says um, um, credit card, or it says Bitcoin credit card, send me a check. Well, I always get this one, the check, because the credit card is 2.5%. So this is, you know, this is the one. I like the check, but I like the Bitcoin better. Mm, um, well. So that's good. So speaking of taking it, so there's a New York um, diamond retailer, one of the most premier diamond retailers in oh. the country. They're, um, Samer Helme, Helme is the name of the organization. They announced last week they're going to start accepting Bitcoin um, as a form of um, payment for diamonds. Wow. So if you want to buy diamonds for your honey... Well, you I was can thinking use, about imagine imagine just tracking diamond transactions because there there's a lot of fraud in that in, or a lot of so believe it or not in the blockchain industry, guess what they're des, they're developing a blockchain um, application that's going to track the diamond from mining, see to its production and all the way through to its sell. It's already that. going on right now. They probably need that in the marijuana industry, like for track seed to stem all that. I mean all. Uh, all also. Also energy. underway is being that, and it's is called it? Potcoin. So that's got that. Pot right. So that's one that, that's being. Wow. So that one, Walmart. Walmart is using blockchain seed to feed to track all their food products that they get, whether it be for your cat mm -hmm. or for you and so I. I that Walmart is going to do it for all of that. Not not only that, but even the distribution factor of uh, it all. So you know Walmart's putting a bunch of money in there. That's awesome. So it's interesting. So when the guys out of New York said that they're going to take. Um, uh, Bitcoin, they're going to use BitPay. Oh, guess Bit, what? Look at that. Look at that. Gordo has one. I have my little BitPay card here. This is my BitPay card. I can only see the number. And but so it, when you... And when I you, can use this to buy things with you Bitcoin. You pay with Bitcoin, but the transaction comes... You convert to cash. cash out of your yeah. bank. Yeah. How's that? How's that? Pretty cool, yeah. And it's tracked. And it's no tracked. doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. And then so um, Expedia, which is another one I'm going to add to the list. So they are now want to get into the international... Um, uh, travel industry, so oh, they're, they're. I didn't even know they weren't actually. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they, were, they want to go like huge, big time into it. They've announced that they're now going to start accepting uh, Bitcoin um, in the uh, international travel wow. aspects of it. So I mean, the whole thing is just. Um, are they so that any kind of like Ethereum? Did some do some accept only certain types so, of yeah, currency? Yeah, or, so okay. the, they said Bitcoin. Now I see. Now, now the um, interesting thing is you brought up Ethereum. The founder of Ethereum. And uh, Vitalik uh, Buterin, um, he's the creator of the Ethereum blockchain. Okay. Again, blockchain. He said that by 2027, that blockchain cryptocurrencies could replace MasterCard and Visa. Think about this. That's not, that's only 10 years away. So if MasterCard and that's Visa. That's a disruptor, brother. That's a disruptor. And then, and let's talk about disruptors. Because well, of the fees, right? He, the fees, he, two and a half percent. He can do it for what? Uh, for less than half a Point percent. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. So he's his, and again, he's the the creator of Ethereum. He's you know he's you know he's obviously got a bias towards one way. Sure. But but um, I don't care what anyone says. I mean, uh, when you're when you're that involved in what's going on, and he said they've got upgrades to Ethereum that are going to be happening over the next number of years. They're really going to change the way a lot of things are going to be happening. And if, if you can take a, an industry that's made its living off of a transaction fee and you can reduce that fee 90%, yeah. that's massive. Yeah. It's not it's not 5% cheaper. It's 90%. Well, I'm talking to, a couple, I'm, I'm talking cheaper. to a couple of re restaurants downtown that are looking at um, uh, going to use and start accepting Bitcoin as a form of transaction. Awesome. We just got to work out the details. Thank you, the IRS and everybody else, but we've got some ideas on how to do it. Guess what? What? We burned through the show again. Come on. Yep, done. I didn't learn enough. <laughs> well, I didn't say you were the brightest star in this I uh, might be slow yeah, sometimes true. to absorb. Anyway, Gordo the tech star, virtual visionary I'm being called now. Virtual visionary. And so is Angus. So is Angus. Angus all what we saw today. All his gadgets, right. Andrew, the security guy, who's traveling the world over the next number of months, lecturing I'll be, about I'll, I'll security. I'll be here. I'll be back when I can, brother. You need your own show. You know show. I like to be You here. need your own show, and I I'll just be the co-host. I can barely keep up with this one. That's, that's true, and your other one, so, <laughs> and your spin-off. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for uh, joining us. We're going to try and do, I think every month we've decided we're going to do a uh, blockchain, cryptocurrency kind of update. Again, we're non-technical, so we look at it from a very all-over-the-page view. Yeah. And I, I think like it's it. kind of neat. It's kind of fun. Um, and like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three, how you, how doing? you doing? 